little bit of experimentation. I, I thought it might be fun to put my head in the camera, is to show you what uh, what goes on in the uh, kind of the administrative parts of the turn when you get started with uh, a turn of uh, this this big uh, this uh, bigger scenario, the the case blue GP two thing. So. It's the beginning of the Soviet turn, uh, which is the bottom of the 19th of November, which you can't see behind that light there. There's a turn track that I blew up and put on the map. I'm going to roll. Um, I'm going to roll some dice. Uh, let's move over to because uh, we're going to look at supply and replacements. And uh, I've got my little handy dandy chart here, which is all in uh, massive abbreviations, but the axis went first. That's the 19th. And I, I've kind of got all the main custom rules per, per uh, the campaign kind of line itemed out and then the notes for different when different things happen and then I cross them off as they go. So um, that's kind of anal, but you got to do it or you screw it up even worse than what I usually do. So I always just pick up three dice and roll them, but the red and the black die are going to be the two dice that we use for uh, supplies, the first thing we're, we're going to do. And we roll the six, so there's a six. So I go over to my little uh, spreadsheet that I made, and we look at, uh, this is the Soviet stuff here. And so six, seven, and eight, and we're in November. We're gonna get 22 SP. Pretty awesome, huh? The uh, the German one's a little more complicated to work out, but that's okay. So we're gonna get 22 SP. And this is where you get to see me be completely goofy. And stretch across the map. <clears throat> and try not to drop anything. And 22 is not uh, that much, actually. Uh, although I've been very cautious with my supply of this uh, game. Okay, 22. So I usually just whack these bad boys <coughs> over by Moscow. As you can see, there's lots of things going on in the background here. I've got some information counters and bits and pieces, but I put them all over here in a big pile. I usually grab a marker, try and sort of draw some attention to them so I don't forget where they are. And the next thing I'm going to do is roll for replacements. And that is uh, 2d6 as well, uh, seven. So an entirely average roll. I have not printed all those out. So I got them over here because I was using them earlier on. So we go to the Russian booklet. And we go to uh, seven, but uh, we have to uh, subtract one because it's 941. And we didn't worry about all this other stuff. This is all taken care of already. Seven, so we're gonna get a fighter back, which is good because we just lost two. We're gonna get two packs and one equipment. Now that is a really, really average amount of crap to get back. So we're going to get a fighter back. I'm going to replace this fighter right here. Actually, this guy, because he's slightly better. They're both inactive. And then I'm going to whiz over to here. <clears throat> and what I do straight off the bat is I pick, uh, because of the the way the, the one packs, one unit rule works, it really is just as easy, just, just as, easy to grab this stuff right now. And so I'm going to take... Uh, one packs, one equipment, so I can grab a decent, I can grab this guy, which you can't read, there you go, this guy. And that leaves me one, um, basically one step of infantry. I'd like to get that guy back. We can get him back. I gotta check on whether, how you rebuild, rebuild guards. I'm not sure I can do that. I think it has to be two, either a two or three action rating or less. So I have all these dinky guys here. So we'll grab one of these guys and we'll put one step underneath him. I'm just gonna pop you down for a second while I do this because I need two hands. This may be really tedious. I don't know if you really give a rat's behind. I don't have any information markers, here we go. So then I pop these over here. Now you're thinking, hey, well, what about reinforcements? It's November, there's gotta be reinforcements. Damn straight, there's reinforcements. So we go over here to my other table. And I made these, uh, I copied off of the guy that did the, the one for DAC. Uh, 
so I would never have thought to do this, but it's so much easier. <clears throat> I just got the vassal module and I drag, I copied all of the units. Is that better? You can see my entire mug. Uh, I copied all the units and so I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to look at the 19th and I'm going to see that I get uh, these various reinforcements. And oh look, I get a guards exchange. Did I just lose that? I just lost that freaking thing. Is that the same unit that's on the board? That must be a different unit. Now I didn't, I didn't put these up exactly uh, by unit designation because I don't care whether it's second guard or third guard was. I just need a guard unit with the, with the factors. Um, okay, so we've got a guards exchange coming up, which is great. And then we've got some other bits and pieces. So I'm going to uh, grab these and I'll be right back. So you may as well watch me rummage around in my uh, counters for a while. So we'll pop him in here. There's a few students. So we just need an artillery unit and get one of those real quick. And we need some NKVDs. They're over here. If I recall correctly. All right. So in this particular instance, now this guy, actually, I need to put him away properly before I forget where he goes. Uh, If I'd only known I had him for such little time, I would have taken advantage of him. Now, where I have uh, not been able to find units, or I've had some issue, I I will uh, I'll kind of um, I'll just circle them off and I'll and I'll come back and look at them when I'm in a more of a, a mood to try and grind through various bits and pieces. So these guys are all just gonna go on the board. We're gonna pop them on. We're gonna swing over to here, pop them down <coughs> with the uh, with the rest of the stuff. You can look at the light and sit looking at me. So I put these guys down and then I work out what I'm gonna do with them and we, we kind of go from there. Um, <coughs> the, ne the next thing I would probably do in this a particular instance is look at where I've placed all of uh, these little these little tile little tile marker things. I've put them down in places for a reason to try and remind me to, you know, hey, build a hedgehog here, or don't forget these are additional units that are attached. You're using a formation marker or something like that, and trying to help me uh, keep track of of what's actually going on on the game map because I I am playing both sides, and there are a lot of freaking counters so. And I don't always have everything set up how you absolutely should by the rules. For instance, I don't always have a combat unit on the very top. I will often have a HQ or a truck or something along those lines that will make it easy easy for me to play. Can you hear those screams? That's the NCAA uh, lacrosse finals. Um, Maryland's playing Notre Dame, Notre Dame, I think. Uh, so it's a pretty tight game, which I'm about to go up and watch. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to I'm going to uh, spend supply to refit all the various aircraft bases that require that, and then because it's a mud turn, there's probably not going to be a lot of movement. The main area of my focus for this turn will be over here. I'm going to look at uh, the mess that's going on in Rajev. Uh, I've got to decide before I move anything if uh, I'm going to do a supply check and I'm going to check to see if I want to break out the units around Rajev. That's number one. That'll be my number one priority. And the number two priority will be working out what the what what are the Germans trying to do here as they try and surround uh, bits and pieces here. And then what do I want to do about that? Do I want to stand and fight and make them spend supply and you know, lose units, that's fine. I can lose units all day long. Uh, I need to roll better on my, um, my recovery, but uh, nevertheless, uh, that's, that's kind of what my recovery, my replacements, uh, because I'm not doing a terribly good job of rolling well for that. We're only, we're only getting uh, one or two packs uh, a turn. Okay, gonna stop it here and we'll let it go, thanks.